so the idea for this project is we're going to replace this standard RV latch style lock with this one. And this one is going to give us keypad entry uh, and a remote key fob uh, so we can lock the trailer remotely and uh, not worry about keys and stuff as such. For example, I could go out riding. If I have keys in my backpack and I lose my keys uh, for any reason, I'll be able to get back into the trailer when we get back uh, to the trailhead. So that's the idea behind this guy. And I just got to make this go in here. So here we go. Okay, and I've taken out the screws that hold this together. So this will just come right off of there. Looks like they RTV'd this in here, so I'm gonna have to cut some of that real quick and then pull this out the other side. Okay, so there she is, the big scary hole in my door. Went ahead and pulled it out both sides. Again, they RTV'd this, I'm gonna have to clean this up, which is fine. Okay, and after a real quick programming session, Very nice. And I've got my front here. I can type in my code and I can get in and out of my trailer without keys, uh, which is awesome. Again, just in case I'm at the dunes, lose my keys, which um, hasn't happened to me yet, but I've seen it happen to lots of other people. So now I'm just gonna redo the black RTV around this and the black RTV around this to re-weather proof it and she is in great shape. So great project. Um, I, little micro project. I think it's a great product. I like it. Uh, it feels really stout and sturdy and it feels really robust. Um, the only feedback I would give on it is that they only give you one fob, which I think is a little chintzy. Uh, it'd be nice to have more than one fob in the, in the package as it were. And then also um, you can't really see, but I had to shim it in order to make it work um, because it was too shallow. It might be because my door is too thin because it's really meant to go into an RV, not necessarily a cargo trailer, although people use these on cargo trailers all the time. So I had to shim it with some foam pads from my RC racing days that I used to use uh, for shimming batteries in chassis. So use some foam pads. Now it's good. It's not going anywhere. You got your manual deadbolt. You've got uh, everything you need, your interior switch, or handle I should say, your ex exterior handle. You can lock it remotely, unlock it remotely, and do it via the, via the uh, keypad as well. So all in all, that's a great little uh, addition to the Moto Trailer. So E4, thanks for watching.